Hi guys, it's Erica again, and although I'm wearing Wednesday's outfit, it's Thursday for you because today we are going to the water park and I wouldn't have time to tape this and I really wanted to introduce Thursday's theme to you. And Thursday's theme is going to be Thrifty Thursday. Now I know a lot of you on YouTube and even some of you that are watching are huge about saving money. A lot of you love the Dollar Tree, love Goodwill, talk about money saving tips and I love your videos on that. And I wanted to be no exception. I wanted to share with you what our family does to save money, to live on a budget, actually to live on one income, and just give you some hints and tips. Um, when I had my son Maxwell, we decided that I, like, I should stay home with him for a little while. And when I say we decided, my husband Anthony and I decided together. He was okay if I wanted to work, but honestly, I, I waited a long time for my son and I really wanted to spend time with him while he was little. So I do a few things on the side to make a little extra money, but I don't go out of the house to work. So uh, we do run a home-based business called Sensi. If you've never heard of Sensi, check it out. It's S-C-E-N-T-S-Y. And um, we also uh, do, I just turned really blue because our TV turned to a blue background. That was weird. Anyway, if you just saw a big blue flash, it's because blue TV. Anyway. Um, I also do a little bit of consulting and tutoring with people who have um, high anxiety around schoolwork and things like that, and that helps them. And I use my field, which is mental health, and um, just education, which I love. So I do a few things on the side, but ideally we live on one income. And that can be really tough when you have diapers to include in all the things that come with being parents and having a family. So I want, there's the blue again. Wow, I look like a Smurf. Anyway, um, I wanted to share with you today a tip that we use to save money in our household. And if you are already doing it, great. If you're not, this could be an option for you. So um, anyway, what it is about is drinking water. Um, Anthony and I both love our water. We drink water all the time. It's a great health habit, but it's also necessary for our family to save money because water is a cheaper beverage. Also, um, I'm a type 1 diabetic with kidney issues, so water is the best choice for me. We also drink a lot of tea and coffee in our house, so water is another part of that. So my tip today is get a water cooler. We have a hot and cold water cooler in our um, laundry room, and I'm not showing you that today because I don't know how to pause this. I don't know. I, I'm going to have to figure out my camera because it's fairly new to me, and mm, technologically, this is pretty much as good as it gets. So I'm still working on editing and learning all the tools that my camera has to offer. But anyway, all that to say, we have a hot and water, a hot and cold water cooler in our laundry room that we keep five gallon jugs on. And uh, we actually got the water cooler free with a delivery water service that we had while in California. We quickly gave up that delivery service, however, because um, although it was really, really convenient to get five five gallon jugs delivered per month to our door, it was also pretty expensive because they were delivering it. So once we gave up the delivery service after about a year, we got to keep the hot and cold water cooler for free. So that might be an option for you too if you wanna try out a delivery service or if maybe you're handicapped or um, can't um, load the five gallon jugs, um, that might be a good way to go about getting your water cooler. The one that we have, the hot and cold water cooler, is about $60 on Amazon.com. So you want to include that in your investment when you think about getting a hot and cold water cooler. Also, I wanted to clue you in on how much the five-gallon jugs are. Um, at Walmart is where we, we go to Walmart to fill up our, our water jugs. And they are five gallons, and the water jugs themselves, the plastic container, are $11 to buy brand new. Now, obviously, after you buy it once, you can refill it over and over and over, and it's at no cost to you for the container. So we've actually bought two of those containers for a total of $22. So, so far we're in $22, because we didn't pay for our water cooler. And then every um, time we need water, which I go through one five gallon jug per week, so that is, what, four a month, about four a month, we go to the store and fill up our five gallon water jug for $1.85 at Walmart. I know, take a minute. Let that sink in. $1.85. A lot of times we pay a dollar for a 20 ounce bottled water at the gas station. So that's really not much of an investment. So over the course of a month, let's round up to $2 a bottle. Over the course of the month, Anthony and I spend $8 on water and it's 20 gallons of water and we get all of our tea, coffee, and drinking water out of that. Now, 
A lot of people have these awesome reusable water bottles because they are trying to be environmentally savvy. I'm the same way. I don't like throwing away all those plastic bottles. So the first thing I did long ago was buy one of those Brita water filters and start to refill my own reusable container. Let me show you my current reusable container because it's the love of my life and you need to know that. Okay, this. If any of you know me, you've probably seen me with my sweet water bottle. Do you see how cute this is? Can you, can you just see? Oh, isn't that cute? Anyway, I carry it around everywhere I go. Everywhere I go, I look like a child with a bottle, and it's always nearby. So anyway, I spent about $8 for that Nalgene. It's Nalgene, N-A-L-G-E-N-E. -E, uh, Nalgene reusable water bottle, BPA-free. And I refill it with my five gallon jugs at the water cooler cold. And I take it with me everywhere I go. And of course, if I'm out in public, I'm out at Starbucks and I grab an ice water, I just have them put it right in there. Um, and no waste needed. So if you're environmentally savvy, this is another way that you can help uh, reduce your carbon footprint by having the five gallon jugs that you can reuse and a, and a cold water cooler. Yes, it does plug in. Yes, it does use electricity, but it's a very high efficiency item. It doesn't use a lot of electricity every day. And um, it has the hot water spout too, guys. So when you make tea or you make instant via Starbucks, you can use the water cooler to make that. You don't have to heat up any water. It's very quick. So I'm encouraging today, if you use anything else, if you buy bottled water in bottles, please stop doing that. Oh my gosh, it's so expensive and so bad for the environment. Two, if you use a Brita water filter or a pure water filter, any of those things, see if the cost of your water filters is costing you more than it costs you to buy your bottles, buy your cooler, and refill your bottles. Now, I realize some of you won't be able to carry the five-gallon jugs or put them onto the machine. So if that's something that's a problem for you, maybe it is worth keeping your water pitcher or your water bottles. But if this is something that you can do and you can cut down your water bill at all for drinking water, it's a great thing to do. And also drink more water. It's so good for you. So thank you so much for checking in on Thrifty Thursday. If this is something you're interested in and saving money, go ahead and click subscribe. Click like if you like the tip. And let me know in the comments if you have a water cooler and how much you love it and how much it costs to refill your five-gallon jugs at wherever you refill it. Or if you have any tips or hints for me on how to save even more on water, please do because it's my, it's my drink. And I love this bottle. So if you like this bottle, it's, um, you can find it on, I think you can find it on nalgene.com. That's where I got this one. But there are lots of cool bottles out now. One that I really have my eye on is the Life Factory glass bottles. Oh gosh, they're gorgeous. They have silicone covers in Tiffany's blue. I know. So anyway, um, I hope that you enjoyed this tip. I hope that you can make use of it. And check in next Thursday for another Thrifty Thursday hint. And I'll see you guys Friday. Have a great day. Bye-bye.